It's day two in the trial of Michael Nelson of Big Bay. He's charged with fleeing the scene of a fatal accident. Nelson allegedly left the scene after hitting and killing 54 year old Robin Rahoy on December 17th of last year. TV 6's Jennifer Perez has been in court following this case. She joins us with today's developments and testimony. Jennifer? Well, Steve, the prosecution continued their case today by calling several witnesses to the stand, including a Michigan State Police detective, three forensic scientists, and an accident reconstructionist. First on the stand, Michigan State Police Detective Sergeant Christopher Crowley. Crowley said hours after investigating the scene, they were given a lead that Michael Nelson was driving on Lighthouse Road the night of the incident. He says upon arrival at Nelson's residence, he saw a Jeep Grand Cherokee. I noticed that there was fresh damage to the front of the vehicle, as well as, as, well as suspected uh, you know, blood that was on the side rocker panel of the vehicle. Forensic scientist Jennifer Patchen later called at the stand, was asked if parts found at the scene of the crash matched missing pieces on the vehicle's front grill. Well, the item 2A and the item 15 and uh, item B 15, the pieces from that match the pieces found at the scene of the After noticing the damage on the vehicle, Detective Sergeant Crowley said he proceeded with an unrecorded interview of Nelson. He said Nelson admitted to driving on Lighthouse Road the night of the incident, hitting an object in the middle of the road, stopping, backing up, and turning around. It was, uh, he said something to the effect that there's no way I can hit a person. What I, what I hit was too small to be a person. Something to that effect. Traffic crash reconstructionist Sergeant John Bruno also testified. Bruno says based on there being damage to the front and grill of the car and not the hood, that Ray Hoy was crouched over at the time of impact. The body actually travels up, up the crown of the road. That leads me to believe that the body was not traveling on its own. It was being drugged up the crown of the road to the top of the crown. Two other DNA forensic scientists also testified. Both agree blood spots found on the vehicle match that of Rehoy. The prosecution continues their case tomorrow.